for just a few years ago. It's amazing how much attention is given to gays in the media. For the most part, the focus has been on gay men, but now it may be the turn of gay women. There is a lesbian character in Roseanne, played by Sarah Bernhardt, and Sandra Bernhardt is actually the one-time gal pal of Madonna and her co-star in the movie Truth or Dare. In fact, it's been said that they had a real-life affair, and both is their only hope. What they are trying to suggest to people is we want special rights. We want more, we're richer, we're whiter, we're here to take away your kids, your families, your values. And, and it's, it's, I mean, I hate to use the word lightly, but it's propaganda. What uh, gay and lesbian Americans want is simply not to be thrown out of their homes, not to be thrown out of their jobs, not to have their children taken away from them. And, it, you know, it's, it, frankly, it's what we're entitled to as taxpaying citizens. You mean citizens. to say that you don't want to take my child and make her into a <laughs> lesbian woman? You mean to say that if I go out with you for dinner, you're not going to approach me? I'm and sorry, see if you Sonia, but I know. Out? <laughs> Is it just that we have a variety of myths and hold fast to them and refuse to allow the light in? That's one of the questions I really want to ask, and I want to find out about family and why we seem to see what is breaking down in the heterosexual community, the goal of a lot of people mm -hmm. in the homosexual community, That's constructing right. a family. 212-643-0077. That's our number. Join us. Important things you can do. Finding somebody to love. It's something we are taught from childhood on. And, then when and we, it. as lesbians and, mm -hmm. and our, our gay counterparts, are then told, once we find that, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's why the suicide attempt rate is so high. 30% of all attempted suicides. We're going to get to what we are taught in terms of the Judeo-Christian culture in a moment. But let me take a call from Dave in California. Welcome, Dave. Hi. Um, I just wanted to make a comment. I think that when gay and lesbian people bring a lot of attention to their, uh, to their lifestyles, it makes a lot of people angry as, you know, for example, your caller that just hung up. Mm -hmm. I think that it's just that Sometimes it seems to straight people, I'm a straight person, that you're almost trying to force your lifestyle on us sometimes. Not everyone, but sometimes, and that seems to anger a lot of us. I don't understand why you want everybody to accept you. I mean, no, you're never going to get to a point where everyone accepts you. But this is what I want. I want to be able to offer insurance benefits to my, uh, to my life partner. I want to be able to have my partner's picture on my desk, just as my colleagues have their husbands or wives' pictures on their desk. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to take my lover home for Christmas and not have to worry about the neighbors clucking. I want simply to be allowed to be who I am. I don't want to draw attention to myself in any particular way, except the mere expression of my love is considered flaunting. I see straight people right. walking down the street all the time holding hands. That's not considered flaunting. I, I, how would it be if I said, I think straight people are fine, if only they wouldn't do it in public. Mm -hmm. and, and by the same token, one of the issues we're dealing with in the military with this don't tell, don't ask, or don't ask, don't tell, is uh, an equal application of that rule would be that straight guys can no longer sit around and talk about women. Mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be against the rules for gay men to talk about another one man. One standard across the board is what One you're standard saying. would take care. It would be not be discriminatory. Let's, talk. <laughs> Let's take another Let's, call if we may. We'll go to okay. Illinois and say hello to Kathy. Welcome. Hello? Yes, go yes. ahead. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I've never done this before. Oh, um, yes, I'm sure that people have heard that one. Uh, I have been listening to the show, and one thing that I've really come to realize is the one single-mindedness of your guests everyone screams homophobia but I don't believe it's homophobia I truly believe it's heterophobia meaning they f that the homosexuals are afraid that the heterosexuals truly know what they really are about and don't want them to really um, be a part of it or really know what goes on in their lifestyle it's well, you know, I mean, you know, I don't want to talk about feelings with you people. I don't want to talk about anything. I don't, I'm not interested in an extended discussion about any of this stuff. I'm talking about the fact that I pay taxes in this country. I'm an American citizen. And in most states in this country, it is illegal for me to have sex with my girlfriend. I can be thrown into jail for it. I have a problem with that. I don't, I'm not asking you to like me. 
I'm not asking you to, to, to endorse my lifestyle. It's not a lifestyle. I'm a lesbian. It's not a style of life. It's who I am. And I am saying that as an American citizen, just like black people, just like women, I'm, I'm asking for my rights under the law. That's what I think. When we continue, let's this, talk you know? a little bit about the Judeo-Christian ethic, though. I think that it's really important that we not pretend that that is not also a way that people are brought up in terms of how they perceive what bonding means and what it is that being a lesbian or being a gay man is really all about. 212-643-0077. Yes, go ahead. Okay, I'm uh, just calling because I really... Uh, respect the women that I've seen on my TV and I don't really at all feel like condemning them. I, I believe that people ought to live the way they want to. And uh, there is one problem. I am a white heterosexual male mm -hmm. and I've often felt that there's like a male bashing spirit to the few lesbians that I've had a chance to talk to and get to know. It hasn't been that many but I think as a white male the biggest problem these women present to me is just the feeling that they're against men because we get branded and kind of written off as... as can, I suggest, branded. can I suggest, Luke, that like one of the things... Can I, wait. Better. I really would like to get to know them better. And want I, you to I respond had, to you. But this is the problem, and I think if you could come around and let guys like me know that we're not enemies... You're not. No, you're not my enemy. The question, <laughs> I think the question that you need to look at, Luke, is not so much the attitude of, of women or lesbians, but to look at the challenge that's being presented to you as a man. The challenge is to question all of your assumptions. And I think that if you spent a little bit of time with the men that you know, talking with them about the presumptions and the prejudices they had, you would learn a little bit more about yourself. I don't think any more than women want to look to men for approval, I don't think you need to look to women for approval. You need to be investigating the issues that you're carrying around with you because it's not the women who have the issues, it's you. I mean, I think um, it's, it's an old stereotype and I think that it, it's really, you know, I mean, we could d discuss it endlessly, but I mean, I, I don't think you know about my life or about Jules' life and Rosemary's life and Stephanie's life. In Phyllis's life, my life certainly, I think all of our lives are terribly wound up with men. Um, some of my best friends are men. I have many gay men in my life. I have many straight men in my life. One of my best friends is a straight man. Um, I have <laughs> one of my friends. You, 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 you did that. I, mean, I have a best just, friend. It's, it's, have it's a terrible, it's a terrible stereotype. Well, it's a stereotype. Know, it, it has no relevance. I mean, if you want presented quite an interesting twist to this. We can't deny that there was a very strong lesbian separatist movement sure. in the 70s, which was bec uh, which was a result of the feminists and not wanting very, us to be and there. It was a very important movement. Absolutely. I think but now we have this incredible number of little boys being born to these lesbian couples. And so I think we're entering into this whole different and realm. And they very well be. Let me ask a couple of mm. quick fire questions. May I, where do you meet the women that you date? I mean, and how do you let yourself know, and how do you know that they're available? Well, well, in the same way that I have met people all my life, it's through shared interests, usually. Uh -huh. um, specifically, in, in New York, I've do, met do most... Do straight women freak if you uh, sit around them, around them? I mean, isn't that at the bottom of all of this? I've never tried to remarks... pick up a straight woman. <laughs> well, then you... I mean, your antenna clearly are, are really honed so that you know whatever signals or what's going on. But at the bottom of all of this, is it not that there's an enormous fear that people can get swept into this life because they really are? It's, it's a, a Victorian. Title. Yeah, there's a Victorian. I think there's a Victorian <sighs> attitude that sexuality will suck you up. Yeah. And uh, yeah. somehow you won't be, be so able scared. to help. Well, Victorian well, said we didn't the, exist, the, remember? Right, and it's the Victorian yeah. issue here. It's also, also that Christian Judeo thing about sex is bad. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, passion is passion. And if people are afraid of passion, that's another issue entirely. But, think, but also think about, think about being a, an open lesbian. What, what you're saying is that in a, in a still what remains a patriarchal society, a woman has, ch chooses to live openly in love with a woman or women over the course of her, of her life mm -hmm. and, and has done something then that challenges every single aspect of, of life right. in America. So right. it must be so alluring right. that given half the chance you'd slide into it. It must, right. be, it must be intensely alluring. But it's not. It's, it's, it's just who regular. I am. And the reason it doesn't other. become an issue with lesbians and straight women is because Lesbians, like most women, do spend a little time getting to know someone. It's not, you, you see her across right. a room and you better. Let me ask just quickly, do you mm -hmm. think there are a lot of women who are secret lesbians today, married? 
Absolutely. With families, our uh -huh. neighbors, our sisters, our mothers. What I think is that um, they talk about lug, lesbians until graduation, and then they graduate and they go get married and have children. And I think that uh, a lot of lesbians really want to have children. And so they go into these marriages believing the rap that if you go, if you get married, and it, you generally you really like the man, he's a friend of yours, that it's going to change. And that's why we have this enormous number of lesbian mothers at this point. But I think that that's changing because we're learning we can form families of all different kinds without having to go through a heterosexual charade. But I also think there really is a difference. I think there is a reason to be afraid of being of out lesbians because, in fact, I don't want the exact same thing as heterosexual. And we're not. Women. We're going to have to continue this discussion. I think an hour was uh, hardly enough. Ladies, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. And I'll be right back.